Although geologically active, Hawaii differs from the continental U.S. in that its terrain was not formed from folding action resulting from the collision of tectonic plates, but from the building action of volcanoes. As a result, Hawaii is unique in that it is one of the few places in the world that has no naturally occurring asbestos deposits. Hawaii does, however, have two military bases and two major oil refineries. It has been long suspected that people in maritime industries, including the Navy, Coast Guard, and Merchant Marine, run a significantly higher risk of asbestos-related disease. This was recently proven in a study by researchers at the National Cancer Institute in Bethesda, Maryland. The study, which followed 4,700 subjects employed at the Coast Guard shipyard between 1950 and 1963, showed a small but significant increase in asbestos illnesses in those subjects as compared to the population at large. Pearl Harbor is one of the larger and more important U.S. naval bases and has had oil refining capacity in the past as well. Both seagoing vessels and oil refining equipment are known to be associated with asbestos insulation and protective gear. Far too many naval veterans wind up spending their final years in treatment for mesothelioma and or asbestosis. It should be pointed out that military exposure to asbestos often takes place in enclosed places such as areas below the deck of a ship where fibers are likely to become concentrated. Oil refineries are among those industries in which fire is a constant hazard. Ironically, oil refinery workers often were poisoned by asbestos that was incorporated into the very gear and clothing that was designed to protect them, such as fire suits and gloves. When these become worn or ripped, asbestos fibers could be released into the air and inhaled, resulting in a variety of asbestos-related illnesses. In the entire state of Hawaii during the 20-year period between 1979 and 1999, there were 138 recorded deaths from asbestos-related disease, 79 of which were from mesothelioma and 59 from asbestosis. As is typical, mortality rates were higher in heavily populated, urbanized areas. Asbestos victims were most numerous in Honolulu County, accounting for 114 of the recorded deaths statewide. The next highest was Hawaii County, with 12. Ten of these were related to mesothelioma. Kauai and Maui accounted for six victims each. On both islands, mesothelioma victims outnumbered asbestosis victims two to one. Mesothelioma, while debilitating and invariably fatal, is far less common than asbestosis. Why should it so frequently be more prevalent among asbestos victims? There is no single answer to this. It is known that a great deal of asbestos insulation used in seagoing vessels contained amphibole fibers, which are hard and spear-like. They are not more deadly than the softer and more commonly used crystal tile fibers, but have been demonstrated to work faster when it comes to causing cancer. The other problem lies in detection. All respiratory diseases exhibit nearly identical symptoms in their early stages, but mesothelioma is especially difficult to diagnose. Therefore, it is usually not diagnosed until it is in an advanced stage. Also, unlike asbestosis, mesothelioma is malignant and can spread to many places in the body. Once it has started, it is nearly impossible to stop. On the other hand, asbestosis's progression usually stops once the patient is removed from the environment in which asbestos exposure occurs. Legal Resources in Hawaii Hawaii is not a state that has seen a significant amount of mesothelioma legislation. For that matter, Hawaii has not seen a significant amount of legislation regarding any asbestos-related disease. In addition, a search of the Hawaii State Judiciary cases, the equivalent of a state Supreme Court in Hawaii, turns up no cases for either mesothelioma specifically or asbestos generally. Despite the lack of litigation at the superior court level, mesothelioma cases have been litigated in Hawaii's lower courts. 
Significantly, a number of people developed mesothelioma after exposure to asbestos in shipyards and other high-risk industries throughout Hawaii. In an effort to prove that the surge in mesothelioma diagnosis was caused by asbestos used in the construction and repair of naval ships, Hawaii mesothelioma lawyers went after the shipyards. The shipyards, meanwhile, contended that inhaling the biogenic silica fibers associated with sugarcane processing caused the employees, many of whom had previously or since worked in the sugarcane industry, to contract the disease. Tests, however, proved that not a single mesothelioma diagnosis could be linked to the sugarcane industry. It should be noted that environmental concerns, such as those related to asbestos, are of particular issue in Hawaii a state that is known for its preservation of its natural resources. Hoping to use this fact to improve the legal situation for mesothelioma victims, mesothelioma law firms in Hawaii tried for several years to get the state to ban the use of asbestos, claiming that Hawaii was a natural sanctuary for a multitude of wildlife species and that asbestos in the air around the shipyards would contribute to ecological disruption. They were, however, unable to offer sufficient evidence to convince lawmakers to enact the ban. Another asbestos-related issue in Hawaii was the 2005 finding that a local school had asbestos, forcing the school to be shut down for five days for inspection and cleanup. Although it will take years to know if mesothelioma will result from the exposure, one teacher has promised to keep the names of the students exposed to an asbestos on file. Locations other than schools in which people may be at risk from exposure to asbestos include the numerous military bases located in Hawaii. In the year 2000, for example, 600 soldiers had to be evacuated from Schofield Barracks due to asbestos exposure. Those interested in filing lawsuits should know that the statute of limitations for personal injury law in Hawaii is two years with the discovery rule that states that this amount of time begins when the problem in this case the mesothelioma, either was discovered or should have been discovered. Furthermore, if a personal injury lawsuit is begun by a mesothelioma victim, but the victim dies before the case is concluded, a family member will be appointed as the special administrator and the case will continue, although the ultimate amount of settlement may be different. Wrongful death cases fall under the same statute of limitations and follow the same discovery rule with the time period beginning at the date of death. There is no specific statute about asbestos in Hawaii. However, in general, the state's laws are generally considered to be quite favorable to asbestos victims. It should be noted that 12 major companies in Hawaii have filed for bankruptcy and so may not pay out on mesothelioma claims. In Hawaiian asbestos cases against those companies that have not filed for bankruptcy, most are settled without having to go to trial. Thank you for watching. This video was produced by asbestos.net, a leading resource on all aspects of asbestos and mesothelioma. Our priority is to inform victims about the devastating effects of asbestos exposure, mesothelioma, asbestos cancer, asbestosis, and other asbestos-related diseases and to advise them with a wealth of information. Individuals whose lives have been touched by mesothelioma have numerous questions and concerns. Their caregivers and family members also need accurate, reliable information. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with mesothelioma or asbestos cancer and need more information, we invite you to visit and explore the thousands of pages of oncologist-reviewed material on asbestos.net to call our convenient toll-free number shown below and speak with a mesothelioma specialist, or to use the simple contact form found at asbestos.net to request a free copy of our informative books, custom inserts, and DVD. Asbestos.net, information and help for patients and families.